Hi guys, today I will be showing you 15 must-have apps for your iMac or MacBook running the latest macOS Sierra. These are the best apps for your Mac that you should have. So let's start with the first app on the list. It's called Alfred 3. This app is similar to Spotlight Search. But Spotlight Search, you cannot use system command. Like if you want it to shut down, you cannot do that. You can only just use Spotlight to open an app. You just type in app name. You can open it. But if you want to shut your computer down or you restart your computer or use other special commands, you can't. But with Alfred, you can do that here. It looks similar to Spotlight, but it has this head with the magnifying glass. And you can type shut down here, you can see. And you don't have to type the whole word shut down, just type SH. And if you can see the word shut down is at the top, it's selected. Just click enter and it shut down computer very fast. You don't have to just click the Apple logo and shut down. It's much faster. The same with restart. Just type restart and click enter or you want your computer to sleep you act like you're a professional computer user this is how this app does and if you go to preference in here you can change the hotkey because usually spotlight search you have to type command space in order not to overlap the hotkey command with the spotlight search you can change it to like currently i'm using l space instead of command space because if i use command space it will overlap with the spotlight search so you can configure it as you like and there are a lot more features here you can see you can just come here and find out by yourself you can also change the appearance of the app to look based on your preference so because i like the dark mode so i use the dark one and here these are the system commands that you can use with alfred you can quit all apps reject all show trash screensaver lock out and so on that is alfred 3 and the next app that i want to show you is called clean my mac 3 this is clean my mac 3 what this app does is as its name suggests it cleans your mac so this app will clean the temporary files the catches the old files for you so that you can save some storage let me show you the real example here after you install it it also show you the storage you have left the memory the battery charge or not the trash so um it looks like this when you turn it on and as it says you just click scan if you start scanning through your whole system you try to find system chunks photos and so on okay now I say 3.8 gigabyte ready to save cleanup if I click clean it will save me 3.8 gigabytes of storage which means I have 91 gigabyte left if I click clean I will get 94 but I'm not gonna do that because I have uh, my Safari running I don't want to delete it because if I click clean it will ask me to close all the internet browsing apps like Safari or Firefox or Chrome so I don't want to do that but if I click clean I will save 3.8 gigabyte more and what great things about this app is you can also check the old files the files that is too large that you don't know why your mac has only some space left you don't know where the remaining storage gone you can just click on the large and old files here you see this add up to 118 gigabytes that's a lot and if i want to know which app consume most of the storage you can see here so this is the final cut pro saving file it consume a lot of storage up to 83 so you see you can delete this and save your 83 gigabytes of storage. So with this, no file can hide from you. All files will be shown here because this app will detect whatever file that is 100 or more than 100 megabytes. It will show here and you can delete it easily. And you can also use it to uninstall any apps that you don't want. You can use the maintenance task and so on. So it would be a great idea to have this app installed on your Mac. The next app is called Clean My Dry 2 here clean my drive too. This app is designed by the same company as the clean my Mac 3. It's the same company. What this app does is it clean your drives. What does it mean? When you plug in your flash drive or hard disk drive, let me plug in my external hard disk. It detect like this. My external hard disk, I divided it into three partitions and it shows here all the partitions. And usually if like if you eject one partition it will ask you to eject all but for this app when you click eject here it don't ask you any question it just eject all by itself automatically like for example here 
it's gone. You don't ask me the second question to eject all. And if there is a junk inside my uh, drives, it will also clean it for me. Let me show you here. Here. When, for example, you plug in your flash drive, and if there is some junk files in, in it, it will show like this. And you just click clean, it will clean all the junk files for you. And one great thing that I like the most about this app is when you want to eject your drives, your flash drive or your external hard disk you don't have to go back to the home screen and eject it on the home screen like this it just wherever you are you can just eject it quickly because it's at the top here just click there you don't have to exit out the app just right at the top just click there and you can eject it quickly that's what I like the most about this one it saved me some time okay the next app is called Shazam I think most people already know this app if you're using smartphone like iPhone or other smartphone like Samsung Galaxy you also can download it from the Play Store what this app does is it will detect any song that you're listening and it tells you the title of the song quickly for example like you walk into a restaurant and the restaurant play the music that you really like you never know the song title but you, you really want that song to listen to it later you can just run this app in your phone and it will detect the song the title of the song for you and the same thing with the Mac sometimes you you don't have your phone nearby but you have your Mac with you turning on you can just open the app the thing is it's better than uh, your iPhone's Shazam because once you open it, it will automatically detect the song. You don't have to click it one by one like in the, the app in the, the phone, the iPhone. For the iPhone, you have to click it one by one. You click it one in the middle here, it will detect one song and then you want to detect another song, you have to click it again. But for Mac, it automatically detects whatever songs it hears. So it's very much easier than the phone. The next app is called Short Menu. Here, this app is called Short Menu. What this app does is, for example, if I have this video and I want to share the link of the video with my friend, but I do not want them to have a very long address here. So I can shorten it by using the app that I show you at the moment here. When Once I click Copy, Command C, it will automatically, you see, it will automatically copy that and convert it into a very shorter version of it. It's, in fact, it shortened the URL of my address here. And you can change it the way you like it. You can change it using Google shorten URL or you can change it to other URL, it's up to you. Just click that, it will change that for you. So because I choose Google URL shorten, every time I click on it, click again, you see? It saves you a lot of time because sometimes you want to just copy it and the link but you want it to make it shorter so that you want to share with your audience this will save you a lot of time and you can paste it anywhere that link it will shorten it for you and it's already copied it for you so you just paste it click enter and it's back it's just like this very easy and fast it saves you a lot of time and this is called short menu the next app is called handbrake i think some of you may know this app already called handbrake what this app does is it allows you to convert video, any video. The format that it supports right now is MP4 and MKV. And on this side, you can select the size that you want. The best thing about this app is it's free. You don't have to pay for this app. And for example, you want to convert videos for video app in your iPhone or iPad. You can use this app. It's quick and it's free. Select that and click start. It will convert the video. After that, you can use to play in your iPhone or iPad. This is handbrake. The next app is called Tunnel Bear here. So Tunnel Bear, what this app does is it allows you to change your VPN. Like for example, some services or websites on the internet, they don't allow you to use some kind of websites or services like for example like Spotify. They don't allow you to use Spotify outside the United States. You can use this app to change your VPN, change your IP address so that you can fake your IP address from anywhere in the world to the United States and then you are able to use Spotify or other services that are only available in the United States. This app is available for both Mac and also for iPhone or iPad as well and it's also available for other devices like other Android devices as well. You just download the app and you can see you can select a variety of countries here. You can select the United Kingdom, Canada, Germany and so on. You select the United States. You just turn it on here. Okay, yes here. 
and wait until it's connecting and usually you can buy the package here but for this app it will give you 500 megabytes for free every month so in the next month you can use it again 500 megabytes if you want to get more for free you can share it like you can see I get 1497 megabytes remaining this month how do I get one gigabyte for free it's easy you just share this app on Twitter if you get 500 megabytes they will ask you do you want to get one more gigabyte for free and you just click that and it, and it will ask you to share this app on Twitter after that maybe around five to ten minutes you will get an email from this website saying that you get one gigabyte more and right now I'm in the United States you can see and you can use to any apps or any services that are only available in the United States one thing that I forgot to mention is because I already signed in at the beginning you have to sign in first here at the beginning it will look like this you just sign in with your email and password if you don't have just create click create free account here type in your email and password and click create and you log in you will see the page that I show you at the moment and you can use the app the next app is called hyperdoc here it's hyperdoc what this app does is it allows you to preview all the apps that you're running without clicking on it let me show you what I'm, I'm talking about if you don't have this app when you scroll your cursor on each app you will not see any preview of the app so you don't know what is in there but with hyperdoc it will show you for example like my safari without hyperdoc you will not see how many safari windows have you run so far they will show you only one but with hyperdoc they will tell you the number of safari windows that you have open and it showed a preview like this and when you scroll on it it will change based on what you're selecting you don't have to click on it and you can delete it as well delete on the hyperdoc you don't have to go one by one and delete there it saves you a lot of time and it makes it more convenient for you to see through all the running apps and delete it quickly if you want to this is great thing about hyperdoc and I like it so much now the next app is called app cleaner this one I think they may have taken it down already from the internet but it is a very good app as you can see the name is a app cleaner what it does is it uninstall any apps in your Mac very fast and very safe as well let me show you what I mean here like if I have these apps here I want to clean it up I just select the app I drag and drop on this and it will automatically select all the files related to this app for me and I click remove it will uninstall this app from my Mac and if you're interested in this app I will have the link to download it in the description below because I think right now they have taken the app down already so if you're interested in this app you can look at the link in the description the next app is called Final Cut Pro I think if you are the video editor just like me you will know Final Cut Pro there are a lot of similar apps to Final Cut Pro but this one is the best it worked great on Mac because it is designed by Apple it's just worked great on Mac it's fast it's smooth it's just one of the best it I would say it's the best app for Mac for video editing but there are other apps that are very very good as well the one drawback about this app is it's too expensive it's right $300 you want to buy this app but you can try by downloading this app from the pirated website first to see if you like it or not if you like it you can decide to buy later but like I said it's one of the best apps for Mac if you are a video editor you need to have this app the next app is called Adobe Photoshop CS6 and you can open it through Alfred as well to save time so just type Photoshop if you select and click enter so what is Photoshop CS6 I mean most people would know this app already I don't have to explain much in fact it's photo editing app if you have photos that you don't like you want to modify them this app is the best app for changing photo to the way you want it to be so most people who already know how to use Photoshop and you know that Photoshop is the best app for editing photos there are other photo editing apps but those cannot compete with Adobe Photoshop and the latest uh, Adobe Photoshop is Adobe Photoshop CS6 that's the latest one and it works great you can try it by yourself I will not go into detail how to use it if you want to know how to use Adobe Photoshop you can just go to YouTube type in how to use Photoshop they will explain there are a lot of great videos on YouTube explain you how to do that the next app that you should have is ScreenFlow 
6 that I'm using right now. What this app does is it allows you to record your Mac screen. Whatever you're doing on a Mac screen, it will record everything. The sounds, you can also record your iPhone or iPad screen as well. You just plug it in using the cable. And once you click here, configure recording, I cannot click on it because I'm recording right now. But if I don't record, I will be able to click on this to configure. If I plug in my iPad or iPhone, I can just click tick on it and I can record my iPad screen at the same time with my Mac screen as well and because the the max microphone is very good that's why you don't have to buy extra microphone for it but you can buy I mean for some professional video editor they would buy it but I, I don't but the sound is still great with this app it record the sound very well record the screen very well and the screen resolution you can set it to the highest I think 4k video using this app it's the best app I think for recording um, your Mac screen and unfortunately the price is quite expensive $99 but you can try it first to see if you like it but trust me it's the best after you record the screen you can use Final Cut Pro to edit the video because the main feature of this uh, screen flow app is to record the screen it has some tools for you to edit the videos as well but it is not as good as the Final Cut Pro that is ScreenFlow 6. Let's move on to the next app. It's called Disc Maker X. This one, Disc Maker X. And right now it's version 6 and it supports Mac OS Sierra. What this app does is it allows you to change your flash drive into a, a bootable flash drive. You can share with your friend by using this app. It will convert a simple flash drive into a bootable flash drive. I already have this app downloaded here. Let me show you what it looks like here. It's very simple. It says, which version of OS X do you wish to make a boot disk of? Currently, it supports three different operating systems. Yosemite, El Capitan, and Mac OS Sierra. Just select the one that you want to make a bootable disk. Plug in your flash drive. You also have to download the operating system that you want so that it will transfer that into your flash drive as a bootable flash drive. And trust me guys, this is the great app. The next app is called uTorrent. Here, uTorrent. I think if you're like a person who want to watch free videos, free pirated video, you may know this one. So what this app does is it allows you to download the videos or apps for free. Usually those are pirated apps or pirated videos. And the most common uTorrent website I'm using right now is Pirate Bay. It has everything. Let me show you an example here. Like if I want to download Gods of Egypt and click on that, they say get this torrent. When you click there, here, you click allow, it will redirect to uTorrent. Like this, you just click OK and it will start downloading the movie that you are selecting. After it finished downloading, you can watch the movie. And with this website, pirated website, you can download anything. Games, pawns, applications, video, audio, you name it. There are a lot of it. So this is uTorrent. The next app and also the last app is called VLC here. What this app does is it allows you to play almost all video and audio formats. Like I said, it plays almost all of it. Whatever video formats you have, you can play with this app. It just recognizes it's the best media player for Mac. As you know that Mac, it has its own media player called QuickTime. But unfortunately, QuickTime can play only a very limited video formats and most likely like mp4 it can play but some other videos like avi or mkv it cannot play lots of video we cannot play that's why you need vlc it's free that's the greatest thing about it it's free and it can play almost all formats of videos and audios okay that's it guys thank you so much for watching these are the best 15 apps that you must have on your mac running mac os sierra if you like the video please click like comment and subscribe for more useful video in the future have a great day guys see you in the next video